do we need to focus on them? Saying our numbers are wrong. What is it called? Ridiculous. We shall see if with invalid user ID. Okay, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday of the following week. I'm not sure what this vlog is gonna be, if this is gonna be separate or added on. But today, I, oh, I have three projects, three dashboards that I need to get, well, done or an additional version completed of. So one dashboard I have to create for someone on another team. I just need to compile results from December through April month to date for them in a dashboard so that they can see it all in one place. So that's one project I need to work on. And then I have this other project that I've been working on where I've talked about this dashboard before where I'm analyzing performance depending on what the focus was like, what the metric focus was. Primarily, we've been focusing on two metrics since December of last year to try and improve performance. So I've been building this dashboard, analyzing performance. Yesterday, while I was in the office, I got to meet with um, a manager from compensation and another manager or two other managers that were that are in our finance team to get their kind of perspective on what the work that I've done so far. So I want to make some modifications to the dashboard based on the feedback that I received. So when you're building a dashboard and like you presented and give insights on based on what you think is important but like the information that I got from them gave me additional insight and I want to pull some additional data and show that and then I also want to show some of the data I already have in a different format based on their feedback so I got some good information like hey can you modify this can you show this as basis points instead of a percentage just some small tweaks here and there but I also wanted to use the feedback that I received like this particular market the reason they're not performing at the same level as another market is because they gave them like a uh, more aggressive target so like that insight helps me understand what's going on and why they're you know one they were struggling beforehand which is why they gave them a more aggressive target while their performance has increased month over month they're still not meeting even this more aggressive target they're still not meeting it one of the things was that we wanted to focus on and my manager I, that this is the third I think it's the third project that I need to work on there is a particular market that my manager wanted me to focus on because they were not meeting their performance and she's like why so I'm digging into results a little bit more to get more granular level details um, to see what exactly is going on there. I have to pull some data, look at results, but there's also in having this conversations with compensation and finance yesterday, I realized like there's a lot of reports and things that they do, like they have different strategies that in dashboards and things that I don't have access to. And if I had access to them, I think that would kind of help change our perspective, change my perspective, maybe change my manager's perspective on how they're going about things, you know, because this one particular market, they're not meeting their goals. And they're like, okay, we're going to give you a stretch target because we need you to improve. So we're going to give you a more aggressive target, not knowing that, you know, it just looks like, hey, everybody else is meeting the performance. Why aren't you? But and it's still like, why aren't you? But also you're your target is harder because you aren't meeting it and they need you to push. Do we need to focus on them? I think we still do because other people are focusing on them and saying we're giving you a more aggressive target because you haven't been meeting your goals. We need you to pick up the slack. That's my interpretation of it. That may be that may not be other people's interpretation of it that they don't need the focus because they gave a more aggressive target. But I think we still need to focus on them because the aggressive target was because you weren't meeting and you still aren't meeting this new one. So granted, I get it that yes, your target may be harder than other people. So they may just be flying through hitting these numbers, but you have that higher target for a reason. And that's my takeaway. I sent this information, my manager, I, um, she had to leave early earlier than I did yesterday. So I sent this information to her just to give her that additional insights that I got with the meeting with them yesterday. So I don't know if she wants to take that approach and say, yeah, let's still dig into the numbers and focus on them or not. But in the meantime, I'm still going to focus on them. I have to do and then I was doing some additional work earlier this week where I had to dig into performance and provide some insights and give that to her. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. Sorry for the ramble. But yeah, I'm going to be working on some dashboards today and pulling some numbers. I think I'm going to try and knock out the 
the dashboard that's pretty much just a data dump. Like I have I have all of the data. I just need, I have it in a Google Sheet. I connected the Google Sheet to Tableau and I've been uploading it there. But <laughs> Google, the Google Sheet along with is like Excel. Like it's only so many rows of data before it starts freezing up, giving you error messages and stuff like that. So I came to the conclusion yesterday that I'm going to have to join, like do a join of multiple files in Tableau. I need to break up this data and put it in multiple files, drop and join them in Tableau. And then I can work a little bit more on the dashboard there. I've recently published the um, Tableau, my first like Tableau Tuesday video. And I believe there was a question about like what kind of charts I typically use like there's really not a lot of different options that you have our stakeholders for them like for my I'll just speak for my area because my reporting is at such a low level more granular meaning at I need to show performance for each individual sales rep like charts are not helpful when I need to see individual sales reps performance I can group them and then show that performance in chart but a lot of the times when these dashboards are being shown to leaders they don't care about everyone else they care about their team so a lot of the charts that I'm using are text chart or text in the dashboard which is just showing like the employee's name their leader's name where they were and these different metrics and how they're performing a lot of that is just text in the dashboard it's not showing chart of what like bar charts or pie charts or in, it's, uh, it's not a lot of that with the work that I do because I have to show each individual's performance and I can't create a billion pie charts for every rep. Now we can do, I've, and I have done like those little spark charts by individual. So it kind of gives you like a little trend line. So those are helpful sometimes, but they don't really hear about that. But the bar chart, pie charts, histograms, or, um, you know, what am I trying to say? What is it called? Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm losing it. Okay, whatever it's called. I'm, I'm, those are the most popular charts that I use but I'll address this in a separate Tableau Tuesday as well but I just wanted to throw that in here oh and ever since last week my um my functional ID I have not had access to any of the tables I lost access they suspended my access I lost access it's been nine days and I still do not have access to the table so I'm running all of my reports manually in Teradata but what I think I'm going to do is for some of this that I normally wouldn't put in Tableau I think I might create a dashboard and put it in Tableau because I can you can set a schedule in Tableau to have it run updates at a specific time I may just put it in Tableau who knows I'm tired of logging in and manually running these reports every morning that were normally automated and would automatically update and refresh on its own so we shall see if I even get to that but for the time being I'm manually running everything because we have our own personal I have my own personal Teradata ID but we also have a functional ID that has to be used for this tool that we use for automated jobs it has to be a functional ID which is a team ID so that is what is sus was suspended got it unsuspended had to change my password and but I, d during that entire process like I lost access to all the tables that I had access to and I have not let me check the status of my ticket because I opened a ticket twice and I don't think I got my access back yet well I don't I haven't received an email that the ticket's been resolved yet so yeah there's that all right let's see um where is my IT ticket Nope, it's still... I need someone to find out why I can't... Okay, I just added a comment. I just added a comment on the ticket to IT to ask them, hey, any update on when I'm... Because I see um, it was approved by my leaders and it shows that it was approved by... I think it's waiting on the database admins to approve, but I have no clue what it's taken so long. Like it's been a week. I opened this ticket on the 9th, it's the 18th. So yeah, I'm asking you about that. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and get started on running these reports that I need to get out this morning.
Okay, I think I have some good news. I commented on this ticket that's been open for nine days now and I just got an email that it's been approved. So let's test it out and see if it's available now. Let me go to one of my one of my jobs and that have error dial and see if I can. Well, hold on. No, I already ran this. So hold on. I need to go into my code. Do I still have it up? Yes. Okay. So I need to go into my code and actually drop these temp tables that I created. So give me a second. How many tables did I create? One in this one, three. Okay, give me one moment. So what I'm just doing is doing drop table and the table names and I'm gonna run this so that when I run my job, it's gonna try and it's going to recreate these tables that are temp tables, but if they're already created, it's gonna fail and say these tables already exist. So I need to drop the tables in the database first and then I'm gonna run, run the code using the automated tool. Fingers crossed it runs. Actually, this one I haven't ran yet. So let me get this. I can change this from an error status to an active status. And I need to change my date. What is today? because what will happen with these jobs that fail and error out, we set a schedule. So like I have my schedule set to run every day at a specific time, but when it errors out the way this tool will work, it will try and backfill, like fix the, or like catch up and get the days it missed, even though if it only runs today because I have dates hard coded to go back to a specific date in the month. It will try to run the job, like it missed it. I think the last day it ran was April 9th. So because that was the last day, it's gonna try and run for April 10th, April 11th, April 12th. Like it's gonna try and run it multiple times because of all those days it did not run. So I have to reset my start date to be today. Otherwise it's gonna try and go back and catch up. Although I have my dates hard coded. It doesn't recognize that it's just like you told me to run it on this schedule i miss these days let me catch up i need to reset my date let me do that and i want it to start today i'm gonna change my time to the time it normally would run all right so let's see if this one runs or if i get an email saying your job it's failed da, da, da. did it run i don't see running refresh again it still says i don't have access I swear I'm over IT team like what are okay I'm gonna reach out to them because I don't know what's going on why I still don't have access that have just happened in, over the last hour after this call ridiculous I just been, so on a call I think that was the last clip I filmed I was on a call and in the middle of the call our director is like I believe your numbers are wrong so I'm running a query and while I'm running a query I go to look at this dashboard to try and find out why he's saying our numbers are wrong because our numbers are not wrong he was looking at a executive overview tab which has a different calculation than the results and how we calculate it for our sales reps. So while I was looking that up, my my job or the code that I had running in Teradata came back with invalid user ID. So I tried logging in again or logging back in like it, I thought it kicked me out and it's telling me invalid user ID. So we have this password reset tool. So I'm like, I don't know if my pass, this has happened before where I was running something and my password expired and I had to, I didn't get a notification that my password expired. So I just had to log in, reset the password, everything was good. So I went to go and reset the password using the tool and it told me my account was suspended. So I click on unsuspend account, try to do that. It tells me I need to reach out to our database admin team to get my account unsuspended. So I reach out to them. First of all, why are these, why are these like, they have like a team email box. Why are they going to specific people? The person that is going to is in India, a whole nother country, it's 9 p.m their time right now and that person I got their out of office notification but I assume it's going to everyone on the team because I've had four people reach out to me two via slack two via email and I even reached out to one person via email who said it was out of office reach out to my manager so I got all these conversations going on trying to find out what's going on and they're like oh I'm gonna attempt to unsuspend your ID in slack 
haven't heard from them in 45 minutes. Okay, people are responding via email and they're like, oh, use this tool. And I'm like, I've used this tool. It's telling me to contact your team directly, which is what I'm doing. So they, they someone else, I guess, hops on and sends an email and they're like, you need to reach out to your manager for help. And I'm like, why do I need to reach out to my manager for help? It's telling me to reach out to your team. And so they copied her into the email and was like, she needs to um, address this. And I'm like, did you get an email or something about my ID being suspended or like something access expiring something? Cause this has literally never happened. So she's like, no, I haven't received anything. So they, whoever responded to that email to, like that, tagged my manager in the email chain. They responded back after, she, like she replied, like what's going on? I didn't get an email to do anything. So they looked a little bit deep, deeper and further and they said that she submitted a request to revoke my access to Teradata. And I'm just like, I'm messaging her on the side being funny. Like, so this was all your fault? I was just joking though. But on a serious note, why would, why are you saying that she, like I know that's something she wouldn't do because of like the stuff I'm working on. Most of the time it's for stuff that she's asking me to do based on stakeholder feedback. We need to look at this. We need to look at this. Okay, got it. Why would she, re it's just something she wouldn't revoke my access for. So they're like, we they screenshot a report saying that she submitted a request to revoke it. And she's like, I did, I've been out of the, she said, I've been out of the business for the past couple of weeks. So when did I submit this request? I have no clue what's going on, but yeah, they're saying she submitted it. She's like, I don't, I did not submit a request regardless of what your report shows, but also reinstate her as soon as possible, like immediately. So they responded back saying they've reinstated me. My access is back. Thank the Lord. Cause I have too many projects that I'm working on to not have my Teradata access. My functional ID, Still have no clue what's going on with that, but at least I have my access back. I need to make sure I have access to all these tables as well, because if I have to go through requesting, like like I'm doing for my, my functional ID, where they said, oh, you've been approved, but when I try to use it, it's not working in the automated tool. So yeah, I still need someone in IT to help me out with that. Like why do I not have access? But if they've removed my access for all of this stuff, I'm gonna be pissed. Like seriously i'm not gonna be happy so i'm gonna test that all out once i get back though okay so far it looks fine for the tables that i've ran but i'm gonna go to lunch i'll check in with you guys later